Hey guys, welcome to the unboxing video of the Corsair H70 High Performance CPU Cooler. Uh, this should be a good one. This is the step up from the Corsair H50 water cooler. Uh, we just picked this up today, so we're pretty excited about this. And afterwards we should have an installation video up for you guys soon too, so stick around. This should be a good one. Alright guys, so as Dave already said, this is the uh, 8 Corsair H70, and just to let you know, this is the watt, this is the CPU cooler I'll be using for my future PC. You're going to see a couple unboxings, a couple videos coming up, a 930, a uh, Corsair 600T, and a motherboard and some RAM. That's coming up all when I build my new system, so this is the very first item in my system. So, uh, just going to go quick over now. A socket to support is 11, LGA 775, 1156, 1366, so every modern Intel socket. AMD sockets are AM2 and AM3. And on the top here, it says it uses uh, dual 120 millimeter fans. It's uh, advanced cooling for the fastest CPUs and things like that. That's pretty cool. Those fans, just so you guys know, are in a push pull configuration. Yeah. Now, on the back, oh, it shows a little chart showing the differences between. Uh, can you see that on the thing? It shows the differences between stock cooling and the HR, H Corsair H70, which is pretty neat. Um, so, let's, uh, no further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Says I don't have my knife today. I've just lost it, so let's uh, grab my car key. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, there we go. Yeah, jetty key for the win. Ooh. Oh, that yep. Cool. So it's got a nice. The box has got a nice matte black finish, and like the logo is all glossy. So that's pretty neat. Uh, where's the? How's this bad boy open? So it opens up like a shoebox kind of thing. So in here we have Solutions Guide for 2010. So it's going to show Corsair's cases, memory, cooling solutions, power supplies, flash drive, SSDs. That's not neat. Those instructions are how to install it in 800D. I guess we're going to have to put it in my case. No, we're putting it in my 300. And it says, stop! Do not return to your store if you have problems. So I'm going to have to get, if I ever have a problem with it, please go back to Corsair. Uh, H70 High Performance Hydro Solutions. This is, what's this? Instructions. What's this? Mmm, I like the product. I smell of new stuff. Cool. This is, uh, I guess, shows what it comes with. Neat. Next. H50. What's this? Oh, I guess it uses the same, pretty much the same mounting system. So it's just instructions for all the different sockets. So you got LGA 775, yeah, 1366, all the ones 1366, and the first ones I showed you was AMD ones. Foam. Cool story. Uh, what do we got here? This is the Intel backplate. That's what keeps the thing down. And got some screws. Pretty cool. What is this one for? AMD. AMD. And that's for the AMD thing, retention plate too to hold down the actual cooler itself. Got some double sided tapes and mounting hardware. Cool. Almost lost all my stuff. Awesome. Check out the fans. So we got two of the exact same fans. Oh, they got some really short cables on them. Feel really high quality. Nice matte black to them. Cool. Those are 120 mil. Yep. And you got a couple of. Uh, I like how everything comes in Ziploc bags. I hate when stuff comes in like little baggies you have to rip open. Oh, it comes with uh, some resistors to slow down the speeds of your fans. Make them quieter. Yep. And then it comes without a breakout. So you just plug this into the one CPU uh, header and then you plug in both fans into the one. So that's smart too. I like that. Now we'll get to the cooler. Save the best for last. Alright, so we get rid of the box. Take that. So as you can see, the cooler is it's actually quite heavy. It has a lot of good it has a lot of weight to it. And um, this so this is the rad. And now this is how the fans are gonna mount up. So you're gonna put one fan here, and then another fan here. And it's gonna do a push-pull configuration. So one fan's gonna suck air in and the other fan's gonna blow the air off of it. Because it's such a densely packed rod, you're going to need that. So it's pretty cool. It's really thick. It's heavy. Um, you can see it's really densely packed. You can't even really see through it. Here, I'll zoom in a bit. Um, it's very nice. I like the light, nice matte black finish. Now we're going to go over to the socket. The socket comes with pre-applied pre thermal gel. I cannot talk today. Um, got a nice copper base. The pump and everything is built into it. It's really cool. Um, it looks like it's... Pull it up a bit. Pull, we're going to pull it up. Yeah, I'm zooming into it. Oh, down a bit. Perfect. 
And uh, can't really see how shiny the base is, but from pictures I've seen, it is very shiny, and the, the stock thermal gel is very good. And as you can see, the H70 has a lot smaller of a profile than the H50. It also comes with a nice sticky piece on the. I'm just trying to pull that off. I'll let you see, you guys see that. So as you can, there's a nice protectant here. This top part's really shiny here, so it's pretty cool. So this should be pretty cool in my case. It's gonna it's gonna mount like something like that. So be neat. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out our unboxing of the Cosair H70 cooler. And uh, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our installation video. I'll put it in an annotation of the video, probably right where my finger is. And uh, until that's up, you guys can check that out. We'll see you next time. And yeah. Thanks, guys. Remember to rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. See ya.